Hi everyone, welcome to the new monthly project. Uh, this is number eight, and this month we decided to do character design and concepts. This is a really good exercise for artists because character concept is, is, is quite tricky, but the one thing it is, is it's, it's really, really creative and it's really going to get them juices flowing. You're going to be using your brain, brainstorming, coming up with ideas. And as an artist, that is one of the most important things that you can have. You have to be able to be very creative and come up with all these crazy ideas or whatever, just to make something work. So I thought that this would be a really good project to kind of kick that off. And uh, I don't think we've really touched too much on that yet. So I really wanted to dive into this. All right, so let's dive into it. So here are all of the submissions for the character concepts. Um, check it out, we've got heaps, we've got so many. Really, really cool designs as well. So many different creations and it's just really cool to put them all together and you can actually see everyone's minds working all at once. Like, check it out, we've got all these different designs. Um, so yeah, I'm very impressed. I thought it was awesome. And um, yeah, I just, I really like this theme. I think this is really cool. So we'll probably touch on this one at least once a year, maybe a few times. So let's start off by checking out all of the normal submissions. And then after that, we're going to do the critiques and I can start ripping them apart and, <laughs> and like trying to help you guys. We'll, we'll see what we can improve. Okay. Okay. First up, we got Sai. I really like this one. And this one's called Black Dragon. Really cool design I can already see straight off the bat. So um, I really like how you've got all these different stats and things like that. You've got cat-like agility, speed. Um, so he's a kind of a superhero guy. Also reminds me of like a really cool ninja. Um, yeah, I like this design. Very, very cool. So he can transform his arms into metal. So that's, that's what this is. Here. He's got like a metal arm, I guess. That's great. That's so cool. Unlimited strength, and he's a really good MMA fighter. Yeah, nice. That's great. And here's your little backstory here for um, anyone who wants to check that out. So that's it there. I really like the uh, color choices and the design overall. I really like this. And I love that you've done these turns as well. Very professional. That's a good way to go. And uh, the logo is awesome. I love that dragon logo there. So really, really cool. I like that little hood thing that he's got up on the end of his thing. Kind of reminds me of Deadpool. That's awesome. Um, nice little dagger there as well. This is a very cool character. I could see this working for a comic. Definitely, I could definitely see him in like a good comic. And very well drawn as well, Sai. I think that's great. Look at him. Looks great. You've got some really nice proportions that the... the the final touches and you know it's very professional you've, you've got a really good thing going for you so uh definitely keep it all up i love it such a good artist thanks mate next up is jordan's submission uh so you've got this uh knight you've you've designed your own kind of uh battle like a warrior knight which is awesome i love the armor and it's almost uh he's kind of like a modernized one as well he's very he's, he's got glowing kind of armor as well kind of reminds me of something that you might see in you know like those futuristic thor ragnarok kind of style things which i love love that kind of uh modernized different planet kind of armor you know like a warrior and uh this looks great i really like the the way you've done this is very clean very nice and sharp uh the colors are nice as well and I, I, I dig the uh, suit. I saw all your different uh, sketches as you were going through on Discord. You were sharing with us all uh, your progress and, you know, asking for choices and options, which one we prefer. And I, I definitely, you've, you've made the right choice here. I really dig this one. I think it's a great choice. Uh, I like that helmet too. Do you know what I really like about it is, is the fact that it, it, from a distance, it looks like one of those ancient kind of um, helmets, you know, the, the warrior ones. But then you've got these kind of futuristic eyes that are that's so cool. I love that. And it matches the whole outfit as well. So you've got all these nice little glowing lights and even the glowing axe. So I really like this one. I think it's awesome. Yeah, great job on that, Jordan. Very nice and clean as well. Very professional. So yeah, keep it up. I love it. Uh, next up, we've got Anthony's submission. Uh, this looks really cool. Let's have a look. I want to see these, these uh, details here. Wow, you've really uh, gone into depth here as well. So this is Samantha, a victim to a horrible prank gone wrong by the Mean Girls, died at 19 years old. After they left her body for dead, she was brought back by death himself. 
With ghost powers, she punishes those who do wrong. This is cool. Oh, nice. Brutal. I like her, like, dead eyes. She's got those dead eyes. So this is cool. So she's kind of reminds me, it's like a zombie, but not. She's kind of like a, a ghostly figure. I love that. Oh, she's got, like, uh, ghost legs as well. This is this is great. Nice idea. I like the idea behind it. Oh, that's so cool. She's got, like, a ghost guard. I could see this in, like, a video game as well. This would be such a cool character to use. Reaper Rush. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is great. I like that idea. Very nice thought process behind this as well. I could definitely see that as a, a character that would catch on, you know. This should, like, that, that would work. This is great. You should definitely hang on to this one. Um, Spectra. I like that name. This is awesome. Great work, Anthony. That's so cool. Thanks for your submission. Next up, we got William's submission. Always love seeing your stuff, William. This is great. Um, you've got a demon monk, you mentioned. So, um, yeah, check it out. This is great. I like the fact that he's got he's got no eyes, but then he's got one third eye up there. <laughs> That's cool. I've never seen that done before. So he's got like no eyes. Very creepy. Very uh, yeah, definitely very demon like. Um, I really like these heads. These like uh, glowing heads. Uh, nice work on those skulls too. They look great. Yeah, your your style is really cool, mate. You've got such a good good style. Um, very nice use of these green glowing flames as well. They really make those those heads pop. And you've got this nice green uh, reflection of that light onto his body as well, which is awesome. Um, and I also really love the the color choices down to this pink in the in the arms and the wrists. Um, almost like looks like they're heating up. Or, you know, his arms are, like, powering up or something. Like, yeah. I like this. This is great. Really cool ch color choices from green, uh, pinkish purple up to the nice greeny tone all the way up to, like, a deeper purple blue color up there. And then the red eye. And then you got these green things. So that's that's great. I like this overall. Really nice. Very attractive looking picture as well. That's an awesome character, William. Great work on that. Uh, next up is Bart, and you have this angelic warrior that you have submitted. So let's check this out. Look at those wings. They look great. I remember seeing you submit some stuff on Discord as well, um, and you were, yeah, sending through some, some sketches and uh, coming up with some sketch choices and stuff. I should have actually saved a few of those. Sorry, I, I, I didn't even think about that, because um, I'd like to share those and show you, but but that's okay. Uh, let's check this out, because I love this final piece. This is come out great you've made some really good choices here um, those wings look great the details look awesome check out this armor that's great so many uh, so many details going on um, I really dig all these color choices as well look at that sword it's great it's kind of glowing as well which I love yeah very angelic and very uh, like modernized as well even though it's like an ancient warrior armor it looks very sleek and something that you might see in today's kind of modern movies and such. So you've really put some thought behind all that. I love that. Yeah, that's an awesome character. Good color choices as well. I like how you've got the purple wings and to balance it out, you've got a bit more purple in the armor and stuff as well. So um, yeah, really good color choices. I love that gold. Great stuff, Bart. I love it. That's a good one. Uh, next up, we've got John and you've submitted this uh, superhero, Eagle One. This looks great. This is cool. Very nice pose as well coming right at you. You've got a bit of a description here, which is awesome. It's nice to have that thought process behind him. His powers include super strength, invulnerability, uh, flight, and energy pro uh, projection. Sorry, And he can also slip into subspace, which is that's a cool touch, where he draws his power from. And he can make long-distance warp jumps. That's cool. Very, very cool. Awesome thought process behind that. And... Um, yeah, nice design as well. Very cool design. I like that helmet. And uh, yeah, nice pose too. Nice work on the cape. I can see you've done a really good job there. Awesome stuff. Thanks, thanks, John. Next up is Leo. Uh, here's your submission. I like this. Check it out. We've got this cool character here. Uh, so this is Catherine Quill. But she's actually a super villain called Cat Ink. And she controls Ink. She's kind of inspired by Venom and a Huey from The Boys. <laughs> I love that. That's great. I love The Boys. That's a, such a great show. Uh, this is great. So it's kind of like a revenge story. So uh, 
So apparently a bunch of superheroes killed dozens of civilians, including her family and her house full of cats. <laughs> That's great. And um, as consequences of saving the world. So they didn't mean to, but... That's cool. And then, so she loses her mind and she wants revenge and she goes after them. She finds this black ink, uh, which consumes her and she can use it. Is that, oh, so she knew that it was a power. So she knew that it was the, the ink is like a weaponized kind of power. All uh, right. And then she takes it on and it, and it merges with her body and she's got full control on it. That's crazy. Yeah. Really cool. I like the, the drawing as well. Very nice work on that. Very sleek. Nice colours that are uh, going on there as well. I like these cat ears as well. And a bit of a cat tail there. Yeah, cool work. Cool design. Nice work on that, Leo. Uh, next up is Aaron. Check this out. So we've got another superhero. This is Eric Boltwood, uh, a.k.a. Force. Oh, cool. You're actually doing a development comic for it. So this is like a real thing you're doing. And it's called Eric Boltwood Destroys the Multiverse. Awesome. So the series begins when Eric is abducted by his estranged supervillain family. The Parahuman Security Agency uh, comes to his rescue, but in the process of being extracted, Eric manifests explosive telekinetic powers and accidentally assaults the agents around him. Making matters worse, the media is there in force at the entrance to the lair, broadcasting his manifestation to the world. That's cool. There's a lot to it. You've done a great job on that. It's nice to see you really thinking it out and coming up with this whole backstory. And um, that comic would be cool. So it's really cool to see you working on an actual comic. You're going to use this character and he's a fully fleshed out character in an actual comic. So uh, that is awesome. I'd love to see that one day. I'd love to see that, Aaron. I'll, I'll check it out for sure. I hope you share it sometime. Next up is Jay. And check this out. You've got like a big mech beast here. This is cool. I like that. It says here, this is Jess and she is a mech fashion designer. She studied world economics but dropped out to pursue her passion. That is so cool. Such a good idea. A mech fashion designer. <laughs> I love that. Look, it's wearing a jacket. This mech is wearing this, this huge jacket. <laughs> that is not something that you see every day. That's a cool idea. I like that. It's quirky and cool and just like really fun as well, you know. That is cool. And it's a really cool, a really well-drawn mech as well. I like I like your style. The line work looks really nice as well. You've got this really artistic style and your color choices as well are really interesting. Like they're, they're different, you know, in a good way. I really like that. It's kind of a, it's a unique style of coloring. I like the, uh, the fact that you can see the, how big this thing is as well compared to her. So it's like this huge mech. It's not just, you know, if that was on its own, you wouldn't know what size it is. But the fact that she's standing there, yeah, I like that. So that's awesome, mate. I really love that one. Next up is Paul. And uh, you've done a pirate here. But he's kind of like a cyberpunk pirate, I think. I don't know if that's the right word for it. He's got these, this mech arm. It's a really nice drawing as well. You've done a really good job. I like the style. So that's really cool. And, um, yeah, I like the fact that you've got, like, you know, usually the pirates are known for having wooden legs, but this one's got, like, a cyborg leg, uh, like a mechanical kind of one. So that looks really cool, especially the arm as well. So that's a nice design. Really nice work on this treasure chest too. That's really detailed. Like, look at this wooden texture that you've got going through there. I like that. That works really well. Yeah, so this, this is really nice. Cool design. Nice, nice work on that one, Paul. That's cool. Uh, next up, we've got Jeremy, and he's got this submission here. This is the main one. Um, I, d I noticed in your email you hadn't attached the background version, so I just wanted to really... I, I saw it in Discord. I really wanted to make sure we get this background version in because it's so cool. I really like this background. I think it's uh, great. Look at all these details. You've really sketched it out nicely. and um, I like the color choices, everything. I love it all. It looks great. And this little dude is so cool. He's a, like a monk or a, uh, or a very wise man. I, I just, I love that. Love the design, the choice. Looks really cool. You got a nice style going on there. I like that kind of cartoony feel about it. So, um, yeah, this one's awesome. And then it's nice to see it. You know, it is nice to see it without the background too. It's just, you know, it's always nice to see these simplified ones. But, uh, yeah, really good overall, Jeremy. That's awesome. Thank you for submitting. 
Uh, next up is Roger. And you submitted this one. It's it's uh you mentioned it wasn't finished, but uh, this is supposed to be a cyberpunk red hood. Um, so here it is. Here you can see there's like a couch, and you've been trying to plan out where the leg goes and things like that. Uh, it's easier to see this one, so we'll just have a look at this and uh, check it out. So you've got this cyborg kind of arm, but yeah, you've got a cool pose. He's got this kind of uh, leaning pose. You know, leaning onto the wall there. I guess that's. That must be the wall there in the back, and you'll have him kind of leaning up against it. And uh, yeah, so Cyborg Red Hood. So yeah, I hope to see it finished sometime. I'd love to see this all done. And um, yeah, submit again if you want to, like, feel free. Or just share it in Discord and we'll check it out. Uh, next up is Camille. Uh, you've got this design here. Check this out. This guy. His name is Aaron, and he's, he's half human and half demon but wants to give up his hellish past to become fully human. He has several supernatural abilities. He can move very quickly and without noise. So he's a great assassin. He can see in the dark and is resistant to fire. Green marks on his body are characteristics for the demons that live in his world. Because of them, he causes great fear among normal people. He's definitely a badass character. He really is. He's a badass character. I like this pose here as well. This is a cool pose, kind of leaning up on the on the stick there. Very, uh, very creepy, demonic kind of dude. I like that. That's a nice design. And I really check out the um, what's it called? Like a reaper, a sickle, I think it's called. I like that design there. The skull on the end of it. So that's really cool. Nice to see. Yeah, overall, really, really nice design. I like the hood. How it's like. It's extra wrinkly and like withered away. So it looks very, kind of looks like he's just crawled out of a grave kind of thing. So yeah, that's, that's awesome. Definitely a character I wouldn't want to mess with. Uh, next up, we've got Douglas. So check this out. You've done like this crazy design. Look at this. That is insane. Very intense. I always like your work because like the more you go in, the more it's... Uh, this is super sharp. I'm pretty sure you do vector. Is that vector art? Look at the detail. I just keep going in and it just keeps coming. All these details. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, this is a, a crazy design. It's one of those ones that kind of make me think. I, I'm really trying to... you got to think and work out what's going on, which is looks like that's what you're going for. Like absolutely just abstract insanity kind of stuff. This is cool. So his name is Crint, is that right? So power ratings, you've even got like the stats for this guy, this is cool. Strength, brains, got a lot of heart, agility and honor, that's cool. And you've got a height, you've got the weight even, you even know the weight. Commander in chief of the Cosmos, exotic animal rescue force. Haha, <laughs> nice. Crint hails from the deep hollow of, of space pocket of Vector 777. Crint forged to become more than space goo and slowly developed a keen knowledge for love and anything living. It says, did you know Crint has never met a dog, but if he did, his heart would grow even bigger. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> nice design. That's a cool backstory. Very, very cool character. Awesome work on that and very nice job on the art as well. Uh, next up and last of the normal submissions, we'll get into the critiques next. Uh, this is Jeremy, and you've submitted this one, so let's have a look. Time Monk Tempest. So, uh, oh, cool, he's got like a portal, so he can go through uh, time jumps, I guess. That's an interesting design, very, very interesting. You've got these kind of metallic uh, meshed out armor that's on there. You've got a bit of gold in there. Yeah, this is cool. And um, this is very interesting, this, this uh, staff that you've got, or um, sorry if I've worded that wrong. Yeah, nice to see you putting some thought in this. You've even done a back angle so we can see the behind. That always helps, really helps when you uh, can like see every angle of a character. So um, yeah, nice work. This is awesome. That's a, that's a cool character. Nice work on that, Jeremy. All right, so now it's time for the critiques. Uh, first up here, we have Deegan. Uh, look at this. I love this. This looks great. Um, you've got a character here called Abitus, is it? Abitus? I'm sorry if I've pronounced that wrong. Um, but look at this. looks awesome. And I really like... This is really well drawn. I like this pose here is unreal. Like, it's so energetic. And, and um, you've got some really cool foreshortening. You've got all the tricks. It's great. You've got all those kind of... Like, 
I, I just love the action and the energy that it's got, got going through this post. So that's really good. And it's nice to see, um, like you've outdone yourself. You've done this full action pose, full color. And then you've also done a full, um, a full standing shot so we can clearly see what his outfit looks like. Um, so yes, I love this. I think it's great. You've done a really awesome job and look how um, super crisp and clean these lines are. You've got really nice details going through. Um, so I think you've done a fantastic job. That's great. Looks awesome. You've got a nice expression too. You're very good at um, drawing faces and things by the looks of it and uh, just everything really. There's, uh, this is actually really hard to critique because um, it's, it's just so well done. There's a lot of stuff here. So uh, but I'll, I'll try my best. Let's let's uh, point out what could be fixed, what could be improved on. So, so one of the first things I might point out is um, see this cape here. I think the rendering might be a little bit off um, in the way of it's not too bad and it's good. Like you could you could pass that and that's that's fine, and then uh, it'll work. But what I would like to see is a little bit more. Um, have it work with the flow and it's hard to describe what that means the first thing i would like to do is i'll show you so i'm just going to grab that part there is i want i want the uh under part of the cape to be a lot darker and uh, i'll just show you what i mean so i'm just going to get the levels where are the levels here we go and i'm just going to darken it down because i want to show you what i what i want to do with this now that can go quite dark so you can go really dark with it and I might even darken it even more just as it goes up. So as it goes up top there, then I'll get the, you can go near black even if you wanted to. So that's fine. Um, and I also think that these other parts, so where are we? That are, do you see how there's different levels? So the part that's gonna be on the outside, I would like to see that lighter because that's reflecting the light from, from the outside. So I'd like to see that lighter, same with this one. All right. And, uh, and when it comes to the top part of the cape that's going to be mostly seen, uh, what I mean about the render is I kind of would like to see it a bit more. Let me just show you. So if I just start filling it out. Okay, so let me just show you what I've done. Um, if I just go back without, so that's what you had originally. So we just need more dimension in it. So now we've got this. So the under part is almost darkened because it's like hidden behind his back and it's also covered like it's hidden from the light. So there's barely any light that's going to be on the under inside of the cape. And then on the outside, it's nice and that got that nice red. So without and then with, you just need to have that dimension. If I zoom out and show you, so without and then with, and it just changes the whole look of it completely and really um, makes it feel more uh, like you can understand it better if you can do it like that. And what I've done with the, the rendering on top is I've made sure that the light part is just where the shoulder is bouncing off. You gotta remember that shoulder, you wanna make sure it looks like there's a shoulder pushing against or, or that's the, the lightest part is there because that's where the, the sun is kind of hitting his shoulder or, or whatever it is, the light source is hitting his shoulder. And then the rest can just flow off and it's still lit up here and it looks all right but you just want to make sure that that it still looks like there's a shoulder that's resting underneath see how it's just kind of muted and it's flattened there there's no kind of it it's just a bit too flat so if you just render it a bit more thinking about that shoulder underneath and that that's going to be kind of protruding a bit and having a bit more of a, a, a shine on it or a light that's going to work a lot better so i hope that helps there with the cape now another thing I'd like to try and talk about is uh, maybe the line work that's on the inside uh, with the anatomy as well. All right, so I've just smoothed it out just so I can redo the, the torso and just show you a better way and a better approach. So what I would like to see is, um, now don't get me wrong, I think that what you had was great. That's pretty good, um, but we can definitely improve on it and we'll, we'll just I'll just show you how we can approach it differently. Now you've got the placement of the abs and everything mostly right. So it's all mostly there, you know, it's, it's, it, it can pass. But we, if you really want to, but it's more about the technique and the way that you've uh, gone about it.
Okay, so I've just kind of I've redone the abs so you can see. Um, so that's the before one there, and that's after. So you can kind of see the difference is mainly just the thicker. Um, I just feel like they're a bit too strong through the middle. Um, so if we just kind of had some more controlled line work, um, so you will go thinner to thicker. Like you can have lighter details on the inside and then have your bolder outlines on the outside to really hold everything together. And um, that'll really help. So if you have all your bold outlines on the inside as well, it can just, uh, the quality will just not seem as, uh, see like this part through the chest in the middle there is just a little bit too sharp and, and then it comes to a perfectly rounded thing where we need to have the chest kind of more down there stops. And then it's kind of like the chest, you got to think of it as something that's, I like to think of it's kind of more like this. So you will have your torso, right? You've got your rib, your rib cage, which will go over. Rib cage goes over and then, you know, around or whatever, kind of like that. Then you've got your waist that will come out of there. So it's like a bit of a tube that just fits in this, this hole there. You can even have that under there and then, un and that bit there is a, and then bounce the abs off them until it goes up. So, but the chest is more like, I like to think of it like that. And then it's wrapping over, like folding over that torso bit. And then you have your chest like that kind of shape all the way over that kind of shape there. And then straight through the middle, but you won't have all that detail there in the middle. And that's a good way to try and achieve abs is to try and think of it like that. Um, and then you'll be okay. So this part here where the rib is, you can have that bounce up and then you'll get your traps. I think they're called the traps, aren't they? Um, under there kind of thing. And another thing is what I did with yours was I darkened, like I made the shading under your abs because he's kind of folding over a little bit. Like his body, he's kind of flexing them in and he's folding over. So yours is... Uh, Yours is okay, but it's the same kind of rendering on each ab all the way down. Do you know what I mean? So you've got the exact same light tone and matching them all the way down. Whereas abs actually fold over a bit and then the bottom one has more light on it because, you know, these are darker because they're folding over and there's more of a shadow there, kind of like a cliff of a cave or something. You've got to think of it like, so they're darker, this one's lighter. And then back to light up the top as well and the chest and yeah. So I hope that helps understand the abs a little bit better there, which could help improve. Um, so I hope that helps. Another thing I'll mention, um, I don't want to make it too long this one, but what I, what I like is I like the wraps around the arms here. But what I would love to see you do with these wraps, rather than have it smooth all the way through here, um, I want to see it kind of... I want to see some those wraps kind of bouncing off the body a bit or wrapping around the body. I'll show you what I mean. Kind of like this. I want to see them kind of folding and wrapping and do you know what I mean? So it's kind of like each wrap looks like it's actually wrapping around the arm. So have it really rough and, you, you know, do it properly so you can actually see each fold like that one there. And then it stops, you've got one there, another one can protrude out a little bit. Think about them, make sure you think about them because all these details really, really help uh, in your final product. So when people see it, they're like, oh wow, look, those actually like look like they're folding over and wrapping around the arm. And it's that'll, that'll really help. So you think of things like that rather than having it super smooth. You see, see what I mean? So we'll go before, see how it's smooth, really smooth, and then after. So before and after. I won't do the other one because you can see what I mean there. Uh, and the last thing I'll, I'll talk about is, um, let's do the boots a bit better as well, this chrome effect. Now chrome is quite difficult to achieve. It's very hard to understand sometimes. So let me help you with that. I'll just quickly, uh, let me just quickly lay out it, like make it flat colored again. Now, I think something like that might work. If that was used through the entire leg and the boot, I think that might be okay. Um, I just think that might work a bit better. Um, a little bit too, I just think it's a bit too wonky. Uh, that it can come across a bit too, it's just a bit too jagged, I think, through here when we're doing the chrome effect. So, uh, yeah, we'll keep it a bit more like that kind of rendering style. Um, and I think that'd work pretty well. So let's zoom out a bit. But I think that that's a good way, a good place to start as well. So I'll just go before 
We'll just check out this guy again. You can see his leg. And after, see that chrome effect there? Just a bit smoother and up and down. So before and after. And so we did the ab bit before and after. So yeah, and that cape. Where's the cape? Oh, there we go. So that was the start. And that's after. So before and after. There we go. So yeah, the abs and the and the shin there. And after, especially these ribbons as well. So remember that. All right. Thanks for that, Deegan. That was awesome. And um, yeah, it's great to have you in the uh, critiques as well. So thanks for joining in, mate. That That's unreal. I love this. You're a really good artist. And um, that's, a, that's a great character design as well. All right. Next up, we've got Brett. Uh, this is your design and uh, ready for a critique. So let's jump into it. So this is your guy. His name's Leon. Uh, he's an original character of, your, of yours. That, that's cool. I remember seeing this guy in the Halloween piece. Yeah. So he's from a story comic that you're working on about kids going through radiotherapy cancer treatment. Oh, cool. That's awesome. And I really love seeing you progress. Um, you mentioned in the email that you've been you know, focusing on your line work and things like that. So, I mean, check out this comparison here. So this is your design from the Halloween project uh, back in October. And look at this. I mean, check out this comparison. Look at that. So you zoom in and you look at your look at your line work here. Um, and there's it's all the same value. There's no difference in the weight of the, the inks. So if you have a look. Uh, but over here, I mean, look at that. Once I've zoomed in, look how nice and crisp this is. This is very professional looking now. Um, you've improved so much. This is awesome. So good to see. Um, such a big difference. You've got the same character here. So it's a great comparison because you've got the same character. Um, even look at the hair. Uh, everything, even the lines are a little bit, a uh, little bit more wonky here. Look through the hair. See that, and the lines are a little bit more. Whereas you come over here, super sharp, crisp. You got look at the jacket. Check out all that. So it's so much better. It's good to see a nice comparison there too. And uh, you've really got him popping out of the page too with the colours. So great colour choices as well. Um, I know you, you mentioned that you took on board uh, what I mentioned about the dodge tool and just kind of once you've done your character you go over it again with your dodge tool and you go whoosh, and then give it a, just a little light touch and you'll see the difference. It really just helps it pop out of the page a bit more and, and come at you. Um, all right let's dive into this critique a bit more. Now, I apologize because I literally just did this entire critique, but I didn't have the record button on. It was set to pause still because I was trying to get the comparison off. So I'm going to do it again. I've, I've literally, here's the new one I did. Uh, so I went over, I actually did all this. So I apologize. I've actually already done all of the design, the, the retouches. So this is the retouches and uh, that's your old one there. Um, let me zoom out and show you. So the retouches there are there and then without. But what I'm going to do is I'll just go in and I'll just talk about them and talk about what I did. So uh, this hand here was the first focus. Um, so I redrew it for us so we can have a look. Now, one thing I want to talk about is when you're doing, doing a character, our eye is naturally like as human beings and our, our eye is drawn to faces and hands mostly. Uh, because they're so technical as well. Um, obviously, faces are, you know, a focus point because eyes, we always connect with eyes. So, you know, that's the main thing. And your, your faces are great. I like that expression. For, and your cartoony style, stick with it. Don't ever change. It's obviously, it's where your heart is, your passion, your style. You have your own style. So stick with it. I love it. Um, and I think it's great and it works well. Uh, but hands as well. Hands, we need to make sure that they are attractive as well, you know, and done well. So um, this one is just a little bit, it's lacking in uh, proportion or anatomy, uh, a little wonky in areas. So um, just in this part here, there's a big, big meaty kind of bit in the palm of our hand there. If you just clench your fist and hold it in that kind of same angle, you'll see there's a, supposed to be a big meaty bit there. This part here shouldn't be there. I know that's probably trying to get the uh, the finger curl in there, I think, but it doesn't read right. So what I've done is I redid it. So you can see that the now we you want to see each finger clearly as we have the fist, because that fist is kind of 
it's coming at you. It's an action-y pose. So we want to make sure that this looks nice, this fist coming at you a bit more and it's a bit more confident. Um, the thumb was another one. So that's kind of a little bit too wonky there and unsure. So I, I wanted to try and explain that a bit. So if, again, what I do is I hold my fist up and I look at the angle of each finger and the way they're curled. Uh, the thumb is joining up around the back there where you can't see, but it comes through and it's about here. And then it'll almost point at us. So you can see I've, I've made it so it's kind of pointing at us. You've got that little knuckle and then it will kind of swoop. It'll swoop and point at you. If you have a look at it, it's got that nice curl if you do hold your fist. Um, each knuckle as well. I want to make sure, so before you had uh, the single line coming through, which is okay. I know you've got a style going on. I think when it comes to hands, let's n we won't do that. Let's try and do just just lightly. It doesn't have to be bold. Um, just knuckles. You can kind of draw them in in your own little cartoony way. Try and uh, work that out. And um, I've done them like this. Obviously, this hand is I drew that in my style. I don't. Your style is a little bit more on the cartoony side. See, this fist is fine, um, and that's kind of your style. And that looks good. I think that looks okay. That fist. So, you know, mine's probably, mine should be a bit more like yours. Maybe I just widen it out a, bit, a little bit more. But uh, what I mean is uh, just draw these nice and finely, each finger, and then you're okay. This little dip part down here, you don't have to show the curl in the finger there. It can tuck right under. And then you've got that palm there. So that's the hand. Now with the face, one thing I wanted to do, sorry, like, again, I did record this all before and I saw you could see the progress, but I didn't have it recording, so. Uh, the eyes, I did a nice little heavier line where the eyelash would go. Um, so if you look before, it didn't have it. You kind of actually have it, but it's, I would make it a little more prominent for this cartoony style and then lighter underneath. So I actually lightened jaws up even more underneath. Um, and then I made the top darken. So before, after. So that just, just helps. I, I think it works really well with your style. Now, um, yeah, so never, never change your style like that. With the hair, um, the, I, these black streaks, I don't know. I probably wouldn't worry too much about them. I think it would work better if you did a single single color because like you look at your top it's just a single color with a slight gradient i think maybe that's just from the dodge tool so single flat colors are good let's do that and then i just did a slight brush with um i was trying to match your shading style that you've got this tiny little touch of shading do that with the hair i reckon don't do those black lines i don't i, I think you could go without them and maybe just stick with that kind of thing there. I reckon that would work. And then I, once I did that and finished, I used the dodge tool and did that light brush at top of the hair so that we could lighten that up. Um, yeah, and apart from that, what else did we have? Ah, uh, yes, the shoe here. So that's what it was before. So here we go, I'll zoom out. And I just thought that the foot looked like it was the wrong way around. So I flipped it. So all I did was flip it so I just thought I'd mention that for you. So that's just flipped. And that's the right way. Um, and that's mostly it because you have done a fantastic job on this. Um, I can't fault the anatomy. The pose is awesome. Really cool pose. Um, the anatomy is fine. You've got this really cool style that you've got going on. And uh, yeah, I think it's great. I love the movement in the clothing as well. The jacket swooping around and you've got the little, the little cords there. Um, yeah, you're improving so much, Brett. I think you're doing a fantastic job. So I hope that helps. Um, there's that one there. Cool character too, Leon. So that's, that's really cool. So thanks, Brett. Good to see your stuff again. And I uh, look forward to the next one. I think, Brett, if one more thing, if, if it is, uh, if you want to have a goal to achieve next, how about we try and we'll try and push your cell shading more? I think you'd be great with that. You're doing a good job already. Um, how about next time we'll try and do some more cell shading for you? You've already got a you're starting with it here, but um, these are just on the right on the edge of everything, which is good and it works for this flat color style. 
But how about we try and do a, a render? So like try and do some cell shading around a character and I'll try and critique it for you and see if we can help you upgrade your your um, rendering style. So how's that sound? Try and do some cell shading for me. That'd be cool. All right, mate. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Next up, we've got Jason. Uh, this is awesome. We've got like an orc, a bit of a warrior orc here, and I, I like seeing that kind of stuff. Um, let's have a closer look. Um, yeah, you've got a few different options here. So you've got a combat type. That's cool. And a, an armor type. So um, a bit of both there. I like that armor. That's awesome. Look at that spike. Actually, it looks like it's come from a like a bigger animal, you know, like he's a hunter and he's uh, taken out like a big saber-toothed tiger or something like that. It's awesome. Unreal. Yeah, really cool design. Um, all right, let's dive into the critique. Uh, I think I'm going to use, let's use this guy here for the main critique to base it on because there's a few options there. So I'll just use this guy and uh, yeah, let's dive into it. I think we'll start with outlines. Let's Let's talk about line work. Now, you've done a good job overall um, with the lines because you've got that nice kind of... I love how you've got the, you know, thick to thin, you know, and then it's nice and thin up there. And it's like, that's value, you know. You're going to have those different values in the lines and, like, as it gets down, it's thicker and stuff like that. So, I really like that. You've done really well there. I think all it comes down to is uh, the line work, it just seems a little unfinished in some parts so and a little rough. Um, so, you see these little points here? Like around the edges, uh, they're a bit a bit rough and a bit unfinished. So if we tidy those up, you know, and, and we'll start getting those nice and tidy. But also along the way, I'd like to see, you know, especially as you get down to these parts, you can just thicken them up a little bit more and, and con make sure you connect everything as well. So we want to finish, make it all connected. Um, and overall as well, I think uh, your hands aren't too bad, but we should probably we could probably work on them a little more to uh just to make them look complete because like i mentioned um it, it just seems your line works good but it just seems a little incomplete uh so it's it's it just needs to be a little bit more refined and uh and closed off so we're going to start I'm, i'll just tidy some parts up for you and show you what i mean so if we get this thumb uh you've got it mostly there but i'd probably actually get this part so these knuckles uh, and we'll just bring that forward a bit. So bring that out a bit and I'll bring that back. And I just want to close that off. There we go. Um, so that's good. Yeah. And we're basically just going to keep like, I, I'm really going to try and just close off some of these lines, make it look more complete. Yeah. So, uh, something like that. So see how, uh, just just a bit more refining and uh, detail will make them feel a little bit more uh, complete and things. So if I just show you, so before and then after. So I'll just zoom in a bit for you and just show you. Uh, so before and then after. We just want to make them feel a little bit more complete. There we go. So a bit more like that. And um, yeah, just cleaned up those edges. And I also fixed, I put that knuckle in closer. So see before your big knuckle is, is too big and it's it's like one, sh we should at least see another extra knuckle behind that one. So I just put that one there and then that one behind. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is these wraps. Uh, really cool. And you've got a really good opportunity to add some nice extra details in here. So what I'm going to do is take that out take that out and we want to start roughing them up like make them feel like they're really wrapping around these arms and uh extruding out wrapping around like this you know um and that'll just add to the detail you know you're really going to just get that extra level you can make them really big and obvious or you can keep them subtle but at least have them pop out so we don't we don't, we don't want it to be too smooth um, so that'll, that'll really work nicely, I reckon. So just a bit more like that. So I'll just show you, yeah, before and after real quick. So if we just start refining it all and just completing the lines, you really, it'll really help you a lot. So just through here as well, I'd like to see a little bit more bolder lines. Just, it was just getting a little incomplete down here. You see where it joins to the waist. Let's just connect that a bit more and, and finish it. And, uh, and you can even just make that belt feel a little bit thicker, more held together. Uh, and that's good. That's really good. 
And this, when we get to little bits like this, that indent, um, let's just smooth it out and make it a little bit more consistent. So it's just straight up and, whoops, straight up and to the chest. You can put a little bit more, I'll put a little bit more of that in there. There we go. And then just make that under peck part a little darker i like i like doing that you know making the under peck part just a little darker especially here where it joins to the armpit just a lot darker and get that bicep and we'll finish that off there too now when you get to this tricep here um i just feel like it's a bit too flat and pushed in we want to bring that out uh, show that tricep some more. So let me just redo that. So it'll probably be a bit more like More like this I reckon. Yeah, something like that um, Probably like that I'd say uh, But we can even like because it's lighter like this is kind of This the Sun or the light source would probably hit that most I'll thin that out more there and then go thicker as I go down more That's what I'm gonna do and that'll just help with some nice line uh, line work and flow. Now here, this this line here, uh, I think is a bit off, so we'll remove that. Unless that's supposed to be like a bicep vein, but I think that was resembling the bicep itself. But the bicep's fine; it's right here, and it'll pop out. So we can have that kind of about there. The way that he's resting his arm, so it's about here, but the shoulder won't tuck over into the bicep so we'll get rid of that shoulder and just leave it nice and normal like that that's fine and then you can just bring have a little line there for the where the shoulder comes around so it's really really just about tidying up um, your line works close but we can we can definitely push it to that next level so that's kind of what I'm trying to fix up here for you and another thing just the abs again just looking a little unfinished so we're going to try and tidy them up a bit more and make them feel a little bit more held together uh, i reckon it'd be good to i'm going to use the same abs you've got we'll just widen them they just need to be a little wider for him we'll keep that big scar thing in there or it's or it's painted um and then i might just refine them a bit by yeah just drawing them like this like you, you're really close and then I might get that rib cage that can be nice and dark there and do you see how I'm kind of darkening under the necklace here so anything that I find that would be in shadow or, or leaning into the shadow or the darkened part I usually thicken up those lines so this is the under part of the necklace there's going to be a nice little resting shadow under there so you know we're still going to add a cell shaded shadow later maybe but for the line itself the outline i like to make it just a little thicker just to really make it pop a bit more and, and um it's more held together kind of now when it comes to the face i'm just i just want these lines to look a little conf a little bit more confident um so i'm just trying to pull them together a little bit more um and then it's mostly right and i want that lip to kind of look like it's you know those teeth are being wrapped around the lips a little bit more rather than the square the straight square and that'll really look a, a bit better and we can fill that in black so it's always nice to fill in a bit of black there um, but I'd also like to see maybe a hint of as if he's got the little teeth in the middle of that in his mouth and I think that might look a bit nicer there so we'll darken them off though a fair bit uh yeah and then under the nose like i said anything that's going to have a little under shadow in it make it just the outlines just a little thicker there we go so that looks a bit nicer um and do you see what i mean the outlines can be a little bit more confident like this so if we're just really filling in these and making them a lot more held together and complete and finished um you'll you'll show more confidence so he's got those red eyes so I'm going to fill these in black, these eyes. So let's fill them right in black as you had them before. But then I'll, you know, let's draw the eyes in after. So I'll just draw them a bit like this. Make them look kind of nice. So in the ear, you know, you can draw a little bit more of those darker areas kind of coming through. 
uh, even up the top of it just there and that's just going to help show some completed kind of lines a bit more there we go and uh, yeah again especially with the like I said before um, anything this, this quilt or, or the you know thing I'm doing a darker line under it just to show that it's it's got some shadow under it or it's, it's a dark area under there so it'll really hold that together as well it was a bit thin before all right so that's about it for the outlines let's have a look um, I won't worry about the legs right now because I think this explains most of it so I'll just uh, that chest bit I'd like to have it a little thicker and then thinner as it goes across there I reckon make it really look like it's folding and yeah there we go all right so now I'm ready to show you uh, so here's a here's the before and after I just want to show you so if we can really just pull these this line work in a bit more um, and make it look a bit more complete you'll really it'll really help you so let's have a quick look so that was before and after so just refining the art the line work is really gonna help you a lot and I'll show you why so I'm basically just I'm gonna recolor it for you um, and just show you how line work can really change everything completely if you've if you've done it properly so okay there we go Jason I just wanted to show you so uh, I've just filled out the flat colors the same as yours um, now that's fine like you've got these flat colors that's really that's good but it will really help you a lot if the line work see this um, so if we just tidied up the line work and it was a little bit more complete uh, that's fine you have your flat colors you've got a complete character ready to go and um, and that's all you need you're so close you're doing such a great job I love it and your line work is good and you're getting better so I'm just trying to help you here uh, I hope you don't take any offense to this I'm just I just really want to I love what you do and I want to see you grow so um, if we just tightened it up a little bit more like this uh, and we'll just just those kind of uh, it's just the ink work if you can really just pull together some ink work make it uh, tidy and like really held together and complete we close off all the edges we will uh, you know make them a little th uh, thicker or bolder where needed um, things like that your ink works just gonna go the next level you know you, you're gonna you're really gonna do well so um, yeah and yeah another thing I'll show you as well so once you've got your flat colors that's fine and you and your ink works all solid do this like if you want to go to another level get get the dodge tool so grab the dodge tool I've got mine set to mid tones just do a quick once over on it so it's just you can still keep the flat colors you don't have to do shading I might set it to highlights even so I've got the dodge tool here this is the brush I've sized it up a little bit it's a soft brush and I'm just going to wave over this character once, you see? And now he's just kind of a little bit more ambient or, or, or alive even. Like he pops a little bit more. So I'm doing it just through the, the center of him, not really on the outside edges. Right through the center of him, just a nice soft brush over. See, I'll do, an, I'll do an intense one so you can see the difference. That's intense. It's probably a bit too much. But just so you can see what I mean. Um... Yeah, and I think that would really help. If you just play around with the brush, get the dodge tool, do a couple of brush overs on it once you have your flat colors done. And it's really just going to lift your character out that little bit more. To, and it just looks nice, you know. It makes it look just nice and, and even more complete. So um, that might be something that could help you as well. And, um, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to seeing you improve. You're just getting better and better. So um, that's great. So I hope that helps Jason um, yeah basically just want to see some some line work and yeah maybe try that dodge tool trick and uh, just a quick once over you can really make the character lift out you see all right that should do it I, I think on that one um, yeah all right thanks Jason I really appreciate that I'm looking forward to seeing some more all right next we've got apex arts um, always love seeing stuff from you mate uh, yeah, this is cool. Have a look at this design. Check this out. You've really thought it out. So we've got a mercenary here. Ah, it's a futuristic, futuristic one. Date of birth, 2034. That's crazy. This is great. So he's like a mercenary, um, an assassin mercenary. And uh, from the future as well. So 
Sounds like you've got, what's it say down here? Cyborg, ninja clans. Um, he goes after these crime syndicates, things like that. So he's like an assassin mercenary. This is cool. I like this. Bionic arm. He's got a bionic arm, lots of cybernetics and things like that. Uh, that's great. I love it. Um, and check out this jacket detail and all this. It's very futuristic looking. I really like this. Lots of nice details. That mask is really cool too. Very iconic. Like I could see that working uh, in a comic or something. So uh, definitely looks super cool. I like this pose you've done too. Look at your piece. You've done a full piece. That's a nice pose. All right. Let's jump into a uh, critique for you. Sorry. Um, all right. I'm just I'm looking at this pose or this pose to have a look at first. I'm just going to have a look at this one really quick. All right. There we go. Um, okay, so first off, I think the, uh, just for this pose here, I think the anatomy needs to be worked on just a little bit. I'll just show you what I mean. Okay, there we go. So I just did a liquefy on it. Um, so that was before and that's after. So before and after so you can see what I've done it was just a little bit too it's just a bit too short um, the proportion seemed a bit short and the head was a bit too big and the arms the hands are re uh, really small um, so I just kind of fixed that up I've made the hands bigger uh, broader much broader as well and he's just standing up a bit straighter as well and the head's a lot smaller now so it's just the proportions I uh, fixed up there so that was that one now your detailing is really nice. Uh, sorry, these canisters are a bit warped now from the from the fix. Uh, yeah, your details are nice. Love the suit. Love this whole design. So I wouldn't really change anything. I think you've done a really good job on that. Um, yeah. Now I know this is your one that's rendered. So this is the the full render. So let's have a go at this one as well. So if I was going to adjust this pose or fix anything in this pose, um, first things, now I know you've got this really cool perspective going on, uh, which is awesome. But I think the only few things, again, I'm going to try and do a bit of a liquefy to fix a few things here and there. This is just what I can see by eye. Uh, so mainly this foot down here, it's, a, it's gone a little bit too small. So what I'll do is I'll just thicken it up. Now, I know we're trying to get a nice silhouette there, so I'll try not to wreck it. Try not to wreck that silhouette. But we don't want to go too small. Not, not too small, anyway. So it'll be more like that. Something like that, anyway. Now, the perspective on the knee guard... Uh, sorry, the, yeah, the knee pad, or whatever it is. That's a bit off, so I'll just fix that. There we go. Now, I need to fix this leg back to normal. Again, the knee guard needs to have a bit more perspective in it as well. So we'll pull that down as if it's following that kind of uh, the on the top down looking. There we go. So that's after. So just before and after. So you can just see the legs were just a little bit out of whack. So before and after. Um, that's just the, the proportions. Um, and the rest is pretty good. Um, I'd say it's the angle makes it tricky to see, but it's working. I think it's all working fine. Just this pec muscle needs to come down. So see that there? Or the, the line in the pec anyway. It needs to go right down there. So that's that. So see that there? I just put that back down. Uh, so now that's that's right. That's good. Um, the only other, now, One of the main things I would say, uh, mainly with your techniques, is probably just the shading. It's a little bit, um, it just comes across as a little bit uh, muddy or, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to be offensive. I mean, I'm talking about just, just looks wise. You see this gun here. Uh, this is quite blurred. All this shading and shadowing, it's a little bit too blurred. So if we just, what we're going to do is sharpen it up more. So if I grab that and we're just going to really just put some definition in there and it'll really... It'll really help a lot. Um, now it's hard because I I don't know what the gun is like the uh, the actual part of it, but so all the details. But I'll try my best. So if we just sharpen that up, like really crisp it up a little bit, you'll have a much nicer, crisper looking gun. 
So things that have sharp planes on them and flat planes, we really want to make them kind of have just a single, just more subtle uh, single shading. So instead of just having a gradient effect, uh, you, you, it'll definitely help a lot more. Especially with this, this butt of the gun part, just make that all one single shade there. And this here, just like make it all as if there's just one little, one big chunk of shading, especially the, the piping of this gun, that part there. I'll just show you super quickly, just that stuff that I fixed just then. So that's before, that's after. Do you just see what I mean with the gun? Have a look. So that's just like a bit blurred. The shading's a bit blurred. If you just put more definition in like that, even if it was just that much, it's going to help a lot. So look at this up here. I'll just fix it even more. Like let's just add a little bit more lighting on it on the on the end of this gun here so if i just had a nice trim of uh, sorry an edge of lighting going from there to there uh what you can also do is just just really fine really finely go through and add these little lighting of edge bits these lighting edge bits to all of these little sharp bits here and you watch watch the difference i'll show you so i'm just putting these really fine line little sharp edges here and we're really bringing in that definition now and making it super, uh, super more, super detailed almost in a way. So just by adding those little edge bits there, see here, when we get to a sharp edge, that's going to resemble, um, that's going to resemble, you know, something that's a hard object with hard edges. Just by putting that on, it's just reflecting a little bit more extra light on it. So I'm just doing that. All right. Now I'll just show you before. So before and after before and after you see how that kind of makes a big difference and it's looking more metallic now and it's looking more like a harder object so just that rendering style we really need to just uh that that'll pick up a bit more and you'll have a stronger character a much stronger looking image um probably with this neck uh what do you call it the um scarf thing we need to kind of work on that a bit to make it a bit more like it's wrapping around and it's layered a bit i know they're really tricky these are really tricky i've done some before and it's hard to understand them sometimes but what you can do because you've got this gray right so you've got this gray kind of uh the darkest part is gray let's let's add in a dark this is what you do they do in comics let's add in a darker black heavy black outlines because it's so dark let's let's add in a dark shadow around these areas you can do that here so even around these parts especially around the back of the collar where it ends you see that bit let's just make that full black all the way up even I don't mind all the way up into that edge and then you'll see your uh, the scarf thing so and it's all about balance so I'm just making sure that it all works so there we go I reckon that would help a lot doing that kind of thing there we go. So I'll zoom out. Now, um, with that black, uh, like I said, your armor has got that darker gray. So that means you can go a bit darker with your shadows a little bit. So let us let me show you what I mean. If, what if I'd started to do heavier, bolder uh, outlines just through here, only because it's such a dark area, to help lift that armor off a little bit more, make it look like it's... Now you see when you get down to the legs here, um, this is what I was trying to mention. When you get to your outlines, um, it looks like you've lightened up your outlines, but the boot is quite dark. So I would have actually kept your outlines quite dark through here. So you still see that black, the heavy black through the detailing in this boot. Um, that would have been a lot better. So just make sure you don't lighten up all your outlines where they just get lost, because now the outlines are gone. So let's bring them back and then you'll have a much better looking boot. There we go. So I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Let me show you what I did. So if you just have a look mainly around the neck area and this shoulder, have a look at this. So I'll just go without. So that's what it was without. And that's what it is now. So it's starting to feel a bit more held together um, and a bit more clearer as well. It's like, it's like a definition or yeah, just clarity. And, and the darker outlines are under that armor there to lift it up. So now the armor looks like it's lifting up a little bit off the, off the body 
and it's working with it and it's giving it that kind of comic look as well so there we go i'll zoom out again and we'll just have a look at those changes again so that's without and we've also got the anatomy changes there too and then with so without and with without and with so there we go i uh yeah hope that helps so i'll just yeah this other guy over here let's have a look so that was before him and then after just so you can see clearly well i hope that helps apex you've done a really cool job of those um yeah i love this piece over here unreal that's a nice looking piece so yeah well done you should be proud of yourself thanks mate next up we've got jordan and uh yeah look at this jordan is a new one to the critiques so welcome jordan i'm really excited to start critiquing your stuff this is unreal i like this guy this is a cool design let's have a look um uh, yeah nice i like the vibe going on here it's a cool sword as well so this is a really cool character design you've got going on here i like it i like the mood so you've got this real edgy edgy kind of character um yeah i like it i like it this is awesome uh and you've got some really cool detailing going on here too through the armor and the suits and things like that so uh yeah all right let's dive into a critique for you okay so for overall piece i think i think you've done a really good job uh what i would probably do is um you want to lift that character up from that background more i, I know that you, you're going for that darker edgy kind of look but we don't want to go too dark to to where it's um unreadable or you know you want to make it be seen you still want to make it seen from a distance as well so what i would probably do is lighten up this background more i would i would even make it so it's more just red uh, and less of those deeper tones i'll show you what i mean so there we go i reckon that is even pretty good right there something like that so that's what we had before and do you see these really dark clouds they're almost nearly black so you see them and they're almost merging with your character so i would say take that leap go just really almost make it like a, a red just a plain red um, and it'll really help lift your character see because if you were walking past in the street from a mile away and you saw this poster or a comic cover look at that now you can see it from really far away but without it i mean look at that uh, it's it's all the same kind of tone and it's it's uh, muted now i'm talking about from a long way away this is one thing i learned when doing uh, covers for marvel and they really told me you know you want to make sure that your cover can be read or seen by passers by from 20 feet away or more you know to really reel them in have them come in a step closer that kind of thing so that's a, a nice tip there you want to, you really want to just make your, your character stand out from a distance okay so that that's a good trick um so that's good and you know you're still getting that nice effect you're still getting it you got these darker kind of cloudy looking the red background still looks a bit smoky it's just not so intense uh so that's good and let's have a look at your actual character now so one thing here which i, I like I like the design you've got you've got this really cool design on your character but see these eye designs the eye patch things i want to see them more like i basically want to i'm just going to grab those put them forward uh and i want to try and lighten up the back bit a bit more i want to try and lighten up this back bit a bit more just so we can see that design a little better that dis that face design um basically what i could do is lighten up the center of the face so that it pops and darken the edge a bit now remember cheekbones uh on a on a face are very you know they should be pretty prominent so that'll also help this design here let me just get my brush tool out now i'm talking about this kind of part here you want to make sure those cheekbones are showing so the anatomy and the face is just the the rendering i mean is just just not matching as as much so let's just tone them up a bit make them a bit more readable in structure and then i might try and get that kind of tone going down the side of the head like this a bit more like that and the same on the other side so i just want to show you really quick what i mean um if you just have a look at these side parts of the temple see how they're darkened the side parts of the temple are darkened but the center of the head is lightened now it really does depend on your light source but it seems to me that your light source is more like that too and these darkened parts down the side of the cheekbones down so let's try and 
do that with yours. So again, side parts down on the, on the face there. Just trying to bring them down a bit and then temples. So we can actually sharpen this part up a bit more. Get them temples in. Um, now I want the eyebrows to kind of show a little bit more. So the top brow, you know, we'll just have that kind of a little bit more lifted and a bit more nicer. There we go. Basically, uh, what I'm trying to mention is that the rendering on the face is all a bit... Uh, see, that's what it was before. It's just a bit kind of... We wanted a bit more structure. So, you know, because you've got darker bits here, but you've got lighter bits there and then darker bits here. It's a bit, uh, bit muddled. So we want to try and clear that up a bit and show clear structure in the face. Let me just bring them eyes back. There we go. And, uh, and that's really going to help a lot more, um, especially when it comes to the nose. So just up the bridge of the nose, I want to widen that a little bit more. I kind of want to widen it and uh, something like that. And then we can have that side nose part you know, darkened on, on both sides even if you wanted to. It doesn't have to be intense or strong. It can just be enough and that'll really help. So I'm zooming out. So that's what it was before and that's what it is now. Obviously I need that kind of nice texture. You've got this really nice texture, but um, mine's a bit smooth, but you can see that there's structure, but you can see that there's structure now. So a bit more structure in the head is really gonna help that. Now when it comes to the face as well, I know it's probably a style choice that you like, but I'm not really a fan of these streaky bits on skin tones, like anything lighter than this, it works on these darker parts, I, I reckon, uh, but not so much. I wouldn't do it so much on the face. I would probably tone that down a bit um, and just leave it to the, the rendering to do the shading, I reckon, on the face. Now, this is just personal opinion because, uh, you know, obviously I have a different style and things, but that's just what I like. So I'd probably tone them right down a bit. I think it would be the same for the, for the body as well. These darker streaks especially when you have it in an area that should be lightened. So this part here, this part here should actually be quite a light part on the body um, because there's, because that's like the upper chest collarbone part. We need, we wouldn't really have much shading there. So I'll just hide that and show you. So yeah. And the same over here as well. I'll just get rid of that one and I'll just put that blue in and then lighten it a bit so you can see. That should probably be a lighter part of the chest. And especially through here as well, that neck muscle part there. I wouldn't mind seeing that a bit better too. So I think a, a really good tip for you um, would be to not do so much of the heavy scratching um, shading. The, sorry, the, you know, these sketchy lines. It's a really hard technique, I know, to, to get that. There's a, a lot of um, comic artists use that technique, um, but it's really hard to kind of master. And um, I don't do a lot of it myself, to be honest. You know, you've seen my work. I don't, I'm more of a tradition, uh, sorry, uh, like the cell shaded style. But I do use this a bit here and there. Uh, but it has to be used right. And this can come across a bit too a bit a bit too messy so you know we want to have a clearer read on the anatomy and your body of your character um so i probably wouldn't do that feathered look so much that's probably my only advice on that um so i'll just show you up here without it so look at the chest and the neck area and even the head so that's without it and then with i'll zoom out so with, we're getting a nice clearer read on your, on the top of upper torso now of your character, even the face, see that bit darker part on the face, see without it, I just like it a lot more, you're getting a nicer read on your character. Now another good tip that I think would work really well on yours is probably, I would probably do a stroke, a, a thicker stroke on the outside. Now again, it's a style choice, so you don't have to doesn't have to be too much. I'm just doing a 0.4 there. And I'll just get rid of that nasty part there. That's without the stroke on the outside. You see the, the darker stroke. And then with it, we're kind of holding your character together a little bit more. Let me just show you the edges here. So without and with. I just think it's really nice. And you're getting a, a really nice, strong, comic looking character. I think you could probably lighten up your guy altogether. So if I were you, I'd probably lighten up this whole character. So I'd lighten him up a bit more like this and 
especially the highlights, um, because you your line work is going to do all that. You want that to read better. So if you had your line work here, you'd be able to see it a bit more, and it's a it's a clearer read. Um, so I think that'd work really nicely. So just li by lightening it up a bit more, we're getting a better read on those uh, the design and the eyes. We're getting a better read on your line work as well. Uh, so these hands, I really really want to fix the uh, the hands a bit. So I'm just gonna. Overall, he's a great looking character. The the design is cool. Um, I really want to see these hands a little little wider. And these wrists as well are a little bit too thin, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bump them up a bit. So don't mind me. I'm just gonna make them nice and wide. There we go. So you can see what I've done. So that's before, and that's after. I just really wanted to make those hands a bit bigger, a bit uh, thicker, and um, just a bit more, a bit stronger. Uh, especially this wrist here. Have a look at this wrist. It's just a bit too thin there. So thicken them up, I reckon. And another thing that I want to do, again, it's with these these lines. I really want to take those those heavy ones out. You can keep subtle ones in if you want to, but I probably wouldn't have them in so heavy. They're really making the hands kind of just look a bit messy. So if we just had a clearer read on the character, that's going to work really nicely, I reckon. There we go. So um, you can see what I mean. They're quite quite dark and those darker lines in there um it's really make it makes a bit of a mess of it so we're gonna if we took those out and you just had little nicks of black uh, that are resembling those little streaks even smooth it out altogether just have your rendering do do the job so your shading is going to do the job not your outlines that'll help heaps with those hands um that kind of thing so uh yeah i i think that's that's good uh let me just do something now Yeah, there we go. So basically, I just, um, that's what it was before. That's what it is now. I just thought his eyes were a little too small. And then he's got a, his, his head was too wide and, and big on the around the outside. So I've tucked it in on the outside and I made his eyes just a little bigger. Um, and I just think that looks a bit nicer. So that's my only opinion on that one there. Um, that's about it for that, I think. Uh, one more trick I'll show you as well if you want to do it. You don't have to, but it's just another technique. Uh, here we go. It kind of goes against everything I was just saying, but it's just another kind of technique. Uh, it's, it's more of a lighting technique, really. If I darkened your character, <laughs> I know this is crazy. Uh, just trying it out. I'm just going to see what this looks like. Let me darken him a fair bit. There we go. And then basically I'm just, let me just show you what I'm doing because this is pretty wild. I'm bringing the eyes back, have them glow, and then I'm going to go around those edges and just bring back the original a little bit around some of the edges there. Uh, and basically, what this is doing is it, it's it's your it's a it's a technique that used it a lot in covers in in some cover designs, and it, it's it's just more moody and it makes things moody. So basically, you silhouette your character a lot. Um, I'm bringing some edges back to make it look more realistic. Uh, so that there's, it, it tells me that the back is really the only light source is what's behind him. So I'm just showing you, this is a nice little trick and it can look quite cool. And now you've got way more focus on the eyes and things like that. So before I did this little technique, I'll just show you, uh, it was that, okay? This is just before I did that, what I just did. And then you got that. So it's nicer for a cover, for a distance again, if I zoom out, you're like, whoa, who's that guy? And then you come in uh, and you still got all your detailing stuff. But yeah, that's a cool technique. So there's that. If you want to show off your, your detailing, your rendering, all the cool stuff, you'd go with this kind of thing. But if you want to go for, for mood, you'll do something more like that and play around with it. Like you're basically sacrificing everything, all the hard work you've done, you're darkening the hell out of it. But yeah, sometimes it's worth it because you're going for a mood. You're going to make the, the set the scene a bit more. Uh, right, so let's have a look at your before and after from the absolute beginning. So um, I'll just keep it there, cropped there. Yep. All right, so so that's before we started. Um, that's really cool. I like that. And uh, yeah, and so you got this. 
but also let me just take that one out all right let's stick to this for now i'm going to stick to these adjustments that i make so you can see them better so uh so that's when you started lighten up the background and all that okay so that's that's basically the changes so before and after so you can have a look at those wrists and arms so before and after and now you can see the detailing of the eyes the eyes are bigger heads a bit shrunken in um, we removed some of this sketchy shading and stuff so we're gonna I'm just showing you what you could uh, what you could do but there we go yeah so I hope that helps um, thanks for that Jordan it's really good to have you on board and um, yeah I can't wait to see what you do next this is great you're a great artist looking forward to seeing some more thank you all right next up is Lily so here's Lily's submission um, it is unfinished she mentioned she said uh, she, she didn't quite make it in time but Thank you for submitting anyway. I mean, this is fine. We can do this. So here's your character. This is a cool creation. Uh, like a big, what is he, a rhino? You've got this big rhino looking dude. I love I love kind of crossovers like that when you've got a humanoid uh, animal figure, like a rhino. This is cool. I like that kind of style. Um, yeah, you've, this is awesome. You've done a really big brutish looking dude. Look at the uh, detailing you've got going on in there as well. Um, so I'll help you with what I can with this. I know it's unfinished. We got we don't really have rendering and things like that, but that's okay. I understand. Uh, let's focus on line work on this one. Let's do that. There we go. So now you can see your, not, your lines nice and clear. Right. So what I would probably do, I'm just going to lighten these up a bit so I can just show you a couple of techniques that we can kind of try and work on a little bit. Um, so I think the thing is it's, it's a bit too... Uh, most of the lines, they're a bit inconsistent, um, and that's probably the problem. So things like up here, see the top of that fist, the, the lines are uh, way too bold on that. So you, you basically would want to go, you still want to have it nice and bold enough to be held together, but just, that's just a bit too much. So I'd like to see, you know, a knuckle, things like that. If we are uh, adding those kind of things, uh, like I said in the other critique, when drawing hands, really, we, we, we really want to make sure they look quite technical and you'll get that wow factor. So add some knuckles like this, like just that little bit of an extra stroke for a knuckle and um, it'll really help. And this is a bit thick here, that line you've got under there. So we'll just keep that consistent, match them all here, but still with a nice flow through them as well. And when you get to these knuckles here, I mean, he's a rhino, so let's add these like little little details like this um, to really you know have these fit the these hands look a little bit more uh, a little bit more detailed and, and nicer because at the moment they're, they're a little too simple that uh, too, too simplified I should say um, so if we just add a little bit more I think that'll really really help so just by adding that and then we'll get that nice big uh, thumb in there as well have it nice and nice big chunky thumb and even when you get to the crease in the hand, add just a couple of little nicks to resemble there's a fold happening, you know, and then even you can even put a little crease in there as well if, if you want to, like that. And then we'll go up into the wrist. So that kind of thing. It's mainly with the hands. Like, like I mentioned in that other tutorial, so the first thing we're going to look at is a face and then we're going to look at hands as well. Um, so these ones, it's just a bit too squared off, do you know what I mean? Like it's kind of a bit too like that. And we want to move away from that kind of look, you know, having that squared off kind of look. So if we actually, let's, let's do some, you know, think of the muscles and then we'll draw the, the fingers kind of coming out and then off. So you can draw the fingers as if you can really see them wrapping around this hammer and they're quite big and you can draw them knuckles and things like that. And then that nice big meaty palm muscle right there um so basically just think of think about the uh think about the uh the hands a bit more in the anatomy and you know we've got that clench so have a bit more of a little nice detail in there like this where it's pulling you know it's really gripping onto that that uh axe now another another thing that you could do um to make this more interesting i like the way you got it but that axe it's kind of bothering me it's folding behind his head a bit so I'm gonna get rid of that and I'll show you what we could do so if I were you I'd probably have that a bit higher so I'd have that 
the hand will go right up into the corner. Um, and then have the axe kind of like here. So you can see it's kind of resting over his shoulder like so. So it's over. You can see the tuck over. But then have the other part of it like... There we go. So uh, you, you kind of see what I mean. Um, having that axe kind of up over his arm like that, I think, is a lot makes makes it more interesting and a little bit more threatening as well. So uh, before it was kind of just folded behind his. Uh, the perspective doesn't work too well. So if we just pull it up over, have it facing us more, I think that'll look really cool. Yeah, something like that. Um, and yeah, another thing I think would work is the, I think the fists need to be bigger. Um, sorry, I've redrawn them. There we go. So just make it much bigger. I think would, would really benefit and look so cool. Even this other one down here, um, have that nice and big, like really big, both of them. Uh, and I probably wouldn't worry about that little, that ball bit down the bottom. I mean, we could, but I think that having that, let me just try something. You probably want to have that quite big and and cropped off i reckon crop it off it's okay to crop things off in pictures so um and the perspective yeah it's not reading right so we'll probably have it about there so what we'll do is we'll finish our fist have the rest of that handle reach all the way down so uh yeah so there we go i think that's about right now i think that's all we really need to work on on that um, let me just quickly fix these hands so we can see them a bit better. All right, there we go, Lily. Um, so I've just fixed that up for you. So those fists are now nice and big. So he's like, because he's a big rhino, they, they're going to have massive hands. So um, he's got really big hands now, um, and that's all set. And and now I fix that axe. Um, and your line works pretty good. Like you've got, you do have value in it. You've got um, thick to thin lines, which I really love. And you're getting better at it so um keep going with that i really love that and look at all these nicer finer details in the face so you've done a really good job there uh another thing you can do just to improve on your character more is when you get to inner parts of the mouth i like to just just black it out like that Hang on. i like to just black it out like that you know you can if you want to um it'll just help with your line work and stuff to look a bit like overall like have some dense some black lines um you know especially under the armpit things like that like under here um, darken that up under here as well if you want to and just have some a, a little bit of thicker lines around here and there uh, which will resemble shading just in the darker darker parts like under his chin for sure it'll also feel a bit more held together we can add a little bit more of a scruff under that bit there to resemble there's a chin there okay so I reckon that's it um, that could be where his shoulder is I think Okay, there are Lily. I think that's about right for now. So I'll just show you what we did. Okay, so so this is before I started and now. This is what we got now. So before, you can see the hands um, a little bit too simple. So we just fix those up a bit. You got to just a bit more de uh, definition, resemble that there's, you know, anatomy and knuckles and bones underneath and things like that. So a little bit more refining. Um, that'll really help you a lot. Uh, we also just did a little bit more bolder lines where like some shadowing might be armpits and stuff like that under the chin a little bit doesn't have to be super bold like mine mine's probably just gone that a little bit too far but that's okay uh the axe as well i mean have a look at the axe i know i've lost that lightning detail on the top but we, we don't have to have such a tight crop on this picture if i zoomed out a little bit you could really put that back in um so maybe yeah and we changed the angle on the axe so that's it and now that big boulder thing on the bottom is, is cropped off the photo, but you, you still know it's there. So that's another thing. You don't have to have stuff all tucked in. Um, if, you, if you can't fit it all in the frame, zoom out a little bit uh, and then you'll be all right. All right, I think that's about right for this one, Lily. So thanks heaps for that. That's great. I love seeing your work and um, yeah, keep it up. Okay, next up, we've got Cyril. You've submitted a few here. We've got three designs. Um, but yeah, you've, you've kind of... You said here you're a big fan of motocross. 
Um, and you wanted it to be like a video game, you know, selection when you're choosing your character or choosing your writer. So that's a cool idea. I like that. And you've got all these different designs, mainly with the suits and things like that. So, uh, yeah, cool, cool. Um, it's cool to see that. Now, when it comes to critique, let's, let's have a, have a look at it. Um, I'm just going to pick one. I'm going to pick a writer. I'm making my selection, my character selection. I'm going to, I'm going to work on this one on the pro writer. I'm going to work on this one. Let's, let's do a critique out of it um, and try and, you know, see if we can get your skills up some more. All right. I like this. This is good. You've done a good job on it. And um, yeah, I don't know whether you're uh, going for a, more of a cartoony look, but the proportions are more of a, um, they're a little like of the shorter side of things. Do you know what I mean? Like the, the proportions are a little bit on the smaller side. So I don't know if that's intentional. Um, if we just sh shrunk the head down, you'll see what I mean. So that would be more accurate. Um, same with the hands and fists. If everything was out more um, and like that, you'd have that's that's just going to make them look a bit more uh, proportion-wise or look look better. So do you see what I mean there? We got like a, sorry, that's bef that's before and that's after. So. I just thought I'd mention that the uh, anatomy and proportions of them are a little bit on the smaller side, but that's probably just a that could be a choice thing. I'm not kind of sure, what, not sure what kind of style you're going for. So I just thought I'd mention that. Um, another thing is uh, I would like to see less of these big bold lines on the inside of your character. So we're gonna I'd like to tidy them up a bit. Um, so if they were just more like see like these details around the belt, um, more like that. Uh, you can keep them more subtle, I would say. And that's really going to help your line work look a lot better. Uh, especially this one, it kind of clashes with the logo a little bit there. So if that line was just a lot thinner or even uh, just subtle shading would, would work. So even if you just had this red under the chest that went across, that'd be fine, you know, and then just under there. So I wouldn't even put that black line under there. That way you can have your, I'm not sure if that logo continues, um, but yeah, you can have that logo there. So again, there's just too many black uh, black outlines here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn that black outline into just that yellowy kind of shading. I'm gonna do that. Now I'll show you, I'll just hide that. So that's what it was before there. Look at the chest. And then without, that's gonna help your character a lot. So there we go, we'll do that um, and press OK. So I just wanted to fix that little bit there. So I just took that and tucked that back in. OK, uh, right. So I again, I think it'd be great if we just got rid of these black lines and start what you would what you actually do. Let me show you. So what you could do, what I think you should do for your style, your character, you know, let's just say that you have, you know, the, the bum, the leg, you know, there's your other leg with the, with the details there that go up and then the belt, blah, blah, blah. Um, what you should do is how about we get your outlines? Like when you're finished, you're out, your inks are done, get whatever tone you have underneath, sample it. I've just done a sample. I press control U, press colorize. And then I'm going to lighten it up. You need, you need, cause it's black at the moment. So I'm going to lighten it and then pull the saturation up as well. And what you're doing is you're actually, um, you're actually turning your outlines into a color. So they're not black all the time. Now it's not going to really show until I put that yellow underneath. Let me just do that for you there. So you see what I mean? So this is what I've made here. I know it doesn't even make sense. This is just a bum and a leg, but, um, if that was just black, I just think it makes it look a bit cheaper. So if you want to make your character, your artwork, sorry, look more polished and nicer to look at, just colorize the outlines a little bit. It doesn't have to be that dark. I might even just make it a bit in between. So it's still really bold and holds together. Don't go super light. You don't want to go like, you don't want to go like that. I think that's too light. That's really, really too light. Keep it in between. It's still colorized. You can even get your dodge tool at the end of your inks and get your dodge tool set to highlights 
and start brushing on the inner areas. Make them lighter. Keep the outsides bolder. Lighten the insides. And you're going to have this nicer, smoother looking character. And um, that'll really help. See, I think that just having all these black hitting against the yellow, things like that, it just looks a bit too, bit too much. So, and uh, yeah, do that over the entire character. And I reckon that it work really well. Now, another thing that I'd like to see you do is I don't really, I'm not really a fan of this darker gradient shading. See the shading goes to a darker blur. I just think it looks like a bit of a it kind of looks like a burn like it's 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 I would I, I personally like the cell shaded look which is more so you can see where the shading finishes and starts things like that um, I think that's a nicer way to go so you kind of like that so if I just colorize that I same with the uh, red so the red on the knee pad you can have it stop there you only have to have it subtle if you want to I'd like to see these goggles have a bit more of a shine on them because, you know, they're going to be those nice shiny goggles. So let's just, I'm going to make a bit of a, yeah, a bit of a cell shaded kind of streak through there. And then in the middle, I might do a bit more of a, I don't know, a lighter kind of, see if I can get a bit of a nice shine going through, kind of like that, I reckon, or that. There you go. So now it kind of looks like, um, a, a bit of a shine on them. And then I can get the dodge tool. I'm just going to go over it again and just give it a nice little highlight like that. And I think that'll really improve it as well. So, um, yeah, that's about it. I think that, let me just show you your before and after. Uh, so that's, that's your character before. That's after this slight adjustment. So before and after. Um, yeah, it was just proportions. Uh, was the I would like to see some cell shading and not so much of this gradient look. Um, and it was mainly the outlines. I would love to see some coloured outlines from you um, rather than a stark black. Uh, yeah, thanks for your submission. So yeah, I hope that helps, Cyril. Um, yeah, if you want to practice next time, show me some stuff um, and I'll help you move forward. So uh, yeah, let's try and work on some of those colorized outlines and we'll see. We'll move on from there. All right, our last critique of the day is from Carlton, Carlton Jakes. And uh, yeah, check this out. We've got the, uh, this, is your, this is your character design here. So this is actually your older picture from 2012 you mentioned when you first, I think you said when you first created him. So that's the old one and this is the new one. Uh, really cool. You got wings like these magical majestic kind of wings coming out um, Things like that. So that's that's cool. Awesome to see nice design So let's focus on this today. We're going to focus on this one um, really cool design and uh, Yeah, let's start with the critique. So I really like the, uh, the You know, you've really finished it off. It's got this nice coloring through it overall. You've done a really good job um, of finalizing this character like the the outlines look really nice they're really held together uh, especially it's got this nice comic look like I could see this as a panel in a, in a comic and um, yeah you've got the nice really nice value going through your lines here um, very professional and uh, yeah I like it I like the look now overall I think like I said I like it I like this picture I think overall, uh, I, th I think that the pose that's been chosen, it's very dramatic and really cool, but it's very hidden as well. So it's, it's, it's hard to make out who the character is, um, especially at first viewing. So if, if someone hasn't seen this before and this is their first introduction to the character, uh, it's very hidden that the head is, you know, because of the foreshortening. So... It's very, you have to zoom in to really get a good look at that face and things like that. So um, the choice of setup is mainly the uh, what what is making it hard to understand the character. You, your main focus is drawn to the shoe. That's really the first thing you look at rather than the, the head. I think it's, it's mainly because it's just got such nice detail in it. You've done a really good job of these shoes. I can't really fault your artistic choices here. Like you've got really nice lines. Um, and everything so so I'm just going to show you what we could do you know if we if we ever want to try again so let me let me just show you something real quick so I'm going to try and uh, show you a better angle like something 
let's let's focus on making this picture you know something that's more readable to understand the character uh like post choice so I, I probably would have went for something more like probably i'm just going to sketch something up try and see if i can get something going for you So there we go, Colin. I reckon something like that would probably help um, the whole scene a bit better. Uh, just being able to see the character. Uh, let me just quickly put that over the top. Put a bit of a, a glow over there. Um, yeah. So just, just um, I'm just trying to make sure that you know the character is seen a lot more. Um, so this one's all about setup, really, because like I said before, you've you've got a really good. Um, it's, you know what you're doing. You've got a really polished looking piece here, like the artwork. The artwork, artwork is great itself. It's just the setup. It's the setup that's um, not really working for this character. Um, the uh, the foreshortening and all that's great, uh, but you know, like I said before, it's really just uh, it, it. It's hard to understand who the character is or what what they look like. He's too hidden. So the face especially. So. If I were you, I'd probably um, choose more of a, a fronter, kind of more pose like this, something like this. And uh, that way you can see what the character looks like. You still get that same energy, still got a bit of foreshortening going on. Uh, just just change it up a bit and make it, you know, more striking and stuff like that. So, yeah, I hope that helps. Um, you know, you could even add those cool wings in. I love those kind of, those mystical wings. They're really cool. Imagine those coming out the back there. Um but yeah, something like that might help. So yeah, I hope that helps, Carlton. Um, there's really not much else I could say about this piece. It's really just the setup. I think that's it. It's really just, uh, yeah, if you went, it's the choices. The, the original choice is probably what you need to do there. And I'm sorry because that sucks when you've done an entire picture and then, you know, and it's like, and then I come along, some guy comes along and starts ripping it apart and telling you, you have to redo it all. You don't have to redo it because it's actually, it's a, it is a great piece because this would actually work really well if it was like a single panel or something for a comic book, you know, because that's, that's a story part of it. You know, you're actually seeing a different angle of the person that you're already, you've already established. But if it's a character that is being introduced, make sure that they're really front and center introduce them really make them shine you know show every part of them and that's that's my only yeah real comment about that so um really cool character design though i like that um yeah i hope that helps carton thanks thanks for submitting and uh yeah i really look forward to seeing more of your work you've been doing really well all right so that's all the designs for this monthly project uh yeah that was awesome had a lot of fun with that we went through a lot there there's a few characters. This is a really cool theme. So yeah, like I said before, we're going to do it again sometime. I like character design and concepts. You've really got to get the the imagination flowing, you know, the creativity. Really just unleash on it. You know, it's really good to just get everybody coming up with these unique ideas and things like that. So um, it's definitely a good theme to uh, touch on again. And uh, do it anytime, you know, anytime you like. Just start creating characters. Come up with your own ideas and things like that. Um, some of the best characters in the world have come up from, you know, that kind of thing. You never know what can happen. All right, everyone, that's it for this one. Uh, I'm, tr I'm still trying to work out what we're going to do for the next month. So I'll announce that in the next two days or so. Uh, but I do have an idea that I think might really work. And I'll announce that soon. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, keep drawing. Keep at it. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing more. And I'll see you all later.